Good afternoon, everyone. Eric Morrow here to report the area news for WJSQ, WLAR. Brought to you by Farmers Insurance, a Donnie Gaddis agency. Well, the Tennessee State Museum that expected to open this fall is offering a chance to purchase some commemorative stones for the pathway leading up to the facility. Donations starting at $1,000 will reserve a space on the paver through June 30th. Gifts above $25,000 will be recognized in the new building. More information is available online from the Tennessee State Museum. The museum was located in the lower level of the James K. Polk State Office Building for more than 37 years. The state approved $120 million for the new museum in 2015 with additional funding to be raised in private contributions. The museum said in a news release that nearly $30 million has been raised with the new museum running on time and on budget. Police in Tennessee say a boy was struck in, by a train in Tennessee suffering no life-threatening injuries. News outlets cite a release from Bristol Police that says the boy was listening to music with headphones while walking on the railroad right of way and didn't hear the train coming Saturday night. The boy was found conscious and alert. It is unclear if any injuries he suffered at this time. The boy's name and age has not been released to the press at this time. Police say the, inc the incident is still under investigation. Well, the Tennessee Children's Services Department said Monday it's investigating a woman who accused who is accused of driving her two young grandchildren around in pet kennels. Department spokesman Rob Johnson said investigators are reviewing the case of Lamone Cheeks, who is charged with two counts of child endangerment. Johnson said the children were not in the custody of the Department of Children's Services, but the staff is still investigating the situation. A Memphis police affidavit says the children's ages were seven and eight. They told officers there wasn't room inside Cheek's vehicle Saturday, so she told them to get inside the kennels. The commercial appeal obtained video appearing to show Cheeks, age 62, letting a girl out of one of the kennels and closing the metal grate behind her. Well, here's some community announcements that are taking place in our area. The Etowah Carnegie Library will have a musical show and tell at 2 p.m. Tuesday at the Etowah Community Center. Local musician Ronnie Raper will be there on hand for introduction of some of his favorite musical instruments. The Good Faith Clinic is next Tuesday, June 12th, and doors are expected to open at 2.30 p.m. The clinic is generally held open on the 2nd, 4th, and 5th Tuesdays of each month. Proof of residency is required. The primary medical clinic is open to all McMinn and Meigs County residents that are uninsured. The clinic location is the Christ Community Church on Congress Parkway in Athens. Here's some interesting news that came out this weekend from the Athens Chamber of Commerce. The 43rd President of the United States will be the keynote speaker for the Athens Area of Chamber of Commerce annual benefit in 2019. The Chamber confirmed over the weekend that President George W. Bush will be visiting Athens to speak, the cha speak at the Chamber's signature event on June 22, 2019. For more information about this, you can call the Athens Chamber of Commerce at 745-0334. You can hear the local, regional, and state news on WJSQ FM 101.7 Monday through Saturday at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., noon, and 5 p.m. WJSQ News can be heard here on the WJSQ WLAR YouTube channel Monday through Friday evenings with a wrap-up of today's top headlines and community event announcements. If you see news happening or you just want to let us know about a community event that's taking place, you can reach us at the following email address. That's news, N-E-W-S, at WJSQWLAR.com. This is Eric Morrow reporting for WJSQWLAR. You all have a great afternoon.